There's been a big negative swing in the drinks sector this morning here in the UK. Let's begin with what's happening with the big one, one of the world's largest spirits makers, Diageo, has come through with the earnings this morning. Let's take a look at the share price chart, which shows quite clearly on the right hand side here, this big drop that we've got in excess of 5%, striking out on a new lower low today, despite the fact that it beat out its forecast for a 7.9% uh, rise in revenues. This came through at 9.4%. Uh, the problem is, is that the company has warned about inflationary impacts of its raw materials coming through. I think this is really what's spooking the sector at the moment. Big declines at the moment for Diageo. But it's not just the spirits makers. It's those companies that have uh, associated drinks, brands that go well with these spirits such as uh, Fever Tree and Britvic. This is Britvic down on the session today by a margin of one third of one percent. Same sort of reporting, actually good numbers over the Christmas period and uh, demand holding up. But the company again warning about the outlook because of the rise in inflationary pressures on the drink sector broadly. It's these agriculturals, the wheats, the oats, all the uh, raw materials that go into all these companies uh, where there's some uh, big concerns about the outlook. This is Fever Tree as well, came through with numbers this morning. This stock is down 5.4%. And you can see, like Diageo, hitting levels there not seen since the beginning of November last year. Fever Tree has been so much better off. And indeed, the record high we saw back on the 6th of January 2022. Since then, it's lost almost three quarters of its value. It has recovered since then, but today's news is definitely a setback. The sector's finding it difficult to contain inflation.